What's going on guys? It's your boy Michigan man and today I'm here to bring you guys another awesome celebrity grave. I am in Linden, Michigan and we are here visiting we are here in Fairfield Cemetery and this is this is one of my childhood's memories I have guys. I'm extremely happy to come and visit this man's final resting place grew up with him as a kid so many awesome memories of the work that he did um if you guys don't know what i'm talking about i'll just get straight to the point he was on the tv show alf Now, that brings a lot of memories back for me, watching the TV show, um, having some of the toys, um, all kinds of nostalgia, and um, the, the Saturday morning cartoon. And I cannot tell, wait to tell you guys his story. We are here to visit the final resting place of actor Max Wright. And you might not recognize that name, but he was the uh, father on ALF. He played the TV dad on ALF, a.k.a. Willie. So let's do this, guys. Let's go on an adventure. Let's have some fun. I see you rolling up over black Cadillac, high heel boots, and a sexy body full of tats. Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run at that I think she's feeling me Turn it up a few degrees My imagination of her body gets the best So I'm panning around guys if you want to find uh, his final resting place it's not hard to find it's pretty easy pretty simple to find beautiful cemetery here I'm giving you guys some landmarks There's actually a GPS um, that takes you right to his grave marker, the area where he's uh, buried at. He's actually buried by his brothers and his mother. George W. Wright. He was best known as television viewers as the father, Willie Tanner, on the NBC sitcom ALF from 1986 to 1990, born George Edward Maxwell Wright. He started acting on the theatrical stage, both on and off Broadway, before making his television debut in 1974 on the television series Great Performances. Besides Alf, he went on to appear in numerous television series during his career, such as WKRP in Cincinnati, Buffalo Bill, Cheers, Misfits of Science, Murphy Brown, Friends, 
and Norm. In 1979, he made his big screen debut in the film Last Embrace and later appeared in such film as All That Jazz, Simon, Reds, The Sting 2, Soul Man, and Grumpier Old Men. He was born August 2nd, 1943 in Detroit, Michigan. He moved to the suburb of Southfield as a child graduating from Southfield High Senior High School in 1961. While a student at Southfield, he was very active in the theater program and had leads in two different musical productions. Despite becoming his best known performance, the actor despised, he despised the role due to his huge technical demands and the fact that he, a human, played a supporting character to an inanimate object. It was hard work and very grim, 2000 interview to people. He was also reported very, reported very happy when the show was finally canceled in 1990. He said, I was hugely eager to have it over with, he said in the same interview. He later admitted that as the years passed, he looked back at Alf with less animosity and conceded that it doesn't matter what I felt on with what the days were like, Alf brought people a lot of joy. So he later was happy that he was able to bring joy to people even though he was enjoying it himself. <sighs> he was married in 1965 to his wife Linda until her death from breast cancer in 2017 they had two children together in 1995 he was diagnosed with lymphoma lymphoma which was successively treated and remained in remission until 2019 he died from the disease on june 26 2019 at the age of 75 at the Lillian Booth Actors Home in Inglewood, New Jersey. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This was so much fun for me and it brought back so many childhood memories of Alf and all the fun I had watching the TV show, like I said, the cartoon. I had the ALF cereal. I had all kinds of ALF memorabilia, the puppets, toys, um, game, ALF game. I had an ALF uh, telephone. If this brought memories back to you guys, why don't you guys leave me a comment below and let me know what your memories of the TV show ALF are. And now you can get ALF on DVD. Um, I think it streams for free on certain streaming um, platforms. You could get it there. ALF was, a, ALF was a childhood memory of mine. It was such an honor for me to visit Mr. Wright's final resting place. So, 
Until the next adventure, guys, I will talk to you soon. Have a great, great rest of your week. And see you in the next adventure. Peace.